Myanmar's army has released a report denying all allegations of rape and killings by security forces, having days earlier replaced the general in charge of the operation that drove more than 600,000 Rohingya Muslims to flee to Bangladesh. No reason was given for Maj Gen Mong Mong Soe being transferred from his post as the head of Western Command in Rakhine State, where Myanmar's military, known as the Tatmadaw, launched a sweeping counterinsurgency operation in August. I don't know the reason why he was transferred, Maj Gen Ila Win, Deputy Director of the Psychological Warfare and Public Relations Department at the Ministry of Defense, told Reuters. He WASNT moved into any position at present. He has been put in reserve. A senior UN official, who had toured the refugee camps in Bangladesh, on Sunday accused Myanmar's military of conducting organized mass rape and other crimes against humanity. The Myanmar military said its own internal investigation had exonerated security forces of all accusations of atrocities. The investigators' findings were posted on the Facebook page of the military's commander-in-chief, Senior Gen Min Ong Hilang. The developments came ahead of a visit on Wednesday by U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. He is expected to deliver a stern message to Myanmar's generals, over whom national leader Aung San Suu Kyi has little control. A spokeswoman for the U.S. State Department, Katina Adams, said the United States was aware of reports of the general's replacement and added we remain gravely concerned by continuing reports of violence and human rights abuses committed by Burmese security forces and vigilantes. Those responsible for abuses must be held accountable. Lawmakers in Washington are pressing to pass legislation imposing economic and travel sanctions targeting the military and its business interests. In an opt in The Guardian on Monday, Republican Rep. Steve Chabot and Democratic Rep. Joseph Crowley said it was time to expeditiously impose sanctions. The U.S. needs to send a clear message that there is no excuse for a cruel, extensive and grossly disproportionate crackdown on civilians, they said. The government in mostly Buddhist Myanmar, which is also known as Burma, regards the Rohingya as illegal immigrants from Bangladesh. Leaders of Asian nations meeting in Manila on Monday skirted around the exodus of the Rohingya, disappointing human rights groups who were hoping for a tough stand. Mong Mong So's transfer was ordered on Friday and Brig Gen Lsoe Tint Nang, formerly a director in logistics, was appointed as the new head of Western Command. Made up of three divisions, Western Command is overseen by the Bureau of Special Operations, which reports to the office of Minong Halang. A senior UN official, UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Zaid Rad Al Hussein, has described the army's actions in Rakhine as a textbook example of ethnic cleansing. Myanmar says the clearance operation was necessary for national security after Rohingya militants attacked 30 security posts and an army base in the state on 25 August. The internal investigation put the number of fighters involved in the attacks at over 10,000, more than doubling an earlier official estimate. Speaking in Dhaka, Pramila Patton, the UN Special Representative of the Secretary General on UAL Violence and Conflict, said she would raise accusations against the Myanmar military with the International Criminal Court in The Hague. Sexual violence is being commanded, orchestrated and perpetrated by the armed forces of Myanmar, otherwise known as the Tatmadaw, Patton said following a three-day tour of the Rohingya refugee camps in the Cox's Bazaar region of Bangladesh. Rape is an act and a weapon of genocide, she said. Refugees have accused Myanmar soldiers and Buddhist vigilantes of torching their villages, murdering their families and raping women. Qa the Rohingya are Muslims who live in majority Buddhist Myanmar. They are often described as the world's most persecuted minority. Nearly all of Myanmar's 1.1 million Rohingya live in the western coastal state of Rakhine. The government does not recognize them as citizens, effectively rendering them stateless. In 2012, deadly clashes with Buddhists in Rakhine caused 140,000 Rohingya to flee their homes. Many have since paid people smugglers to take them on dangerous sea voyages to Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia, where they are often exploited. Extremist nationalist movements insist the group are illegal immigrants from Bangladesh, although the Rohingya say they are native to Rakhine state. Rights groups accuse Myanmar authorities of ethnic cleansing, systematically forcing Rohingya from the country through violence and persecution, a charge the government has denied. Thank you for your feedback. Patton said brutal acts of UAL violence had occurred in the context of collective persecution that included the killing of adults and children, torture, mutilation and the burning and looting of villages. The Myanmar military's internal probe said that according to 2,817 people interviewed from 54 Rohingya villages soldiers did not fire on innocent villagers, rape or commit UAL violence against women.
nor were there any killings or beating of villagers, and the security forces did not carry out any looting or set fire to Rohingya mosques, it said. The report also concluded that security forces only used small arms in clashes with Rohingya militants and there were no findings to suggest the use of excessive force. It also blamed the militants for setting fire to the villages and frightening and coercing people to leave their homes.